And this comes from uh, no actual name. We'll just read his first name here. I don't want to dox anybody. It comes from Dean. Mm. Middle School Madness oh, is the title of the story. Madness. And oh, story below, thank you for keeping young men out of the meat grinder. Anonymous, as always, cheers. Going through middle school was certainly interesting. <sighs> I hated middle school, for the record. There was relatively few walkers at the school. Most kids either rode the bus or were picked up by family. This presented an interesting confluence of events. As it turned out, due to how the streets and school property were set up, the kids that walked home from school went out the main entrance and down the main street sidewalk. Since I lived the other way, however, it would double the time to get home, so I left from the back of the school and cut across the field and the woods behind it. No one really went back there for the most part, and the girls, apparently, already knew that. Mm. Mm. Hang on, where's my sound effect here? Is it here? Is it right so, here? Uh, is this story... <laughs> this story is about uh, Backdoor Billy. Yeah, this is, uh, <laughs> this is like the sequel to The Last Ride and Roast. <laughs> yeah, Backdoor Billy. Backdoor Billy. Yeah. Yeah, P- Paul. Paul giving your ass bunions because you know you're banging on the on the <sighs> tree stumps. It wasn't even a few weeks into the school year, and I started seeing the girls with the guy of the week back in the woods on my oh. walk home. They would skip the bus, and they didn't keep track of the kids in those days the way they do now. And they'd sneak back in the woods for some missionary fun time. Mm. Every few days, I'd run into one or two girls just off the path on their backs, spread eagle with the boyfriend of the day banging away on them. Hmm. They knew I didn't care as I just gave them a salute (laughs) on my (laughs) way by. (laughs) Kept going. All right, all right. The girls always just smiled. Well, because they are whores. Yeah. In 20 years, they're going to be crying. And we all know exactly where they're going. Mm -hmm. Stop. Don't touch me there. This is my no no square. <laughs> oh, it never gets old. Never gets old. Never. Well, you know that's exactly what's going to happen. Yeah, they're, they're getting this much attention, this young. They're broken. They're yeah. already broken. I mean, the women that uh, when I, I went to high school with that were uh, mattress backs, <laughs> they're all like single, double divorced. They're yeah. they're they're done. Well, cl- chlamydia and abortions will do that to you. Yeah. 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 Bad news bears. And th- those women did not age well. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Most of them don't. I mean, my 10-year high school reunion was already looking kind of ghastly. Hmm. And they were still in their 20s. Occasionally Thanks. in the beginning, they would have to reassure Chad when he broke his rhythm as he thought I might say something. <laughs> <gasps> wow. <laughs> <laughs> they would always just tell him not to stop. Don't worry about him. He's cool. He doesn't say anything. After a couple of weeks of this, I thought it might be interesting to keep count. <laughs> How many girls at the school would I be seeing there? Well, <clears throat> we didn't even make it into the colder weather before they were cranking out some impressive numbers. I lost track somewhere around 52 or 53 wow. before winter. Wow. It gets interesting. Oh, here we go. So 53 different chicks. Okay. That's a lot of... Yeah. A lot of women in that school. That's I mean, the normally number. you got like yeah. two to six of them. That's it. Uh huh. I mean, it must have been a kind of a larger city. If not, it makes it even worse. Or it's it's <laughs> this story isn't that old. Yeah, it could be. So he says that was the number of individual girls. <laughs> I wasn't counting repeats of the same girl with the same or a different guy. Oh my god! Of course, as one might imagine, the guy count only got up to four. Hmm. Four dudes banging 52 different chicks. Wow. It's a lot of Eskimo brothers to have when you're 13. Yes, it is. Hypergamy 101. (laughs) Same four guys churning through a long line of girls. Churning that cream into butter. (laughs) (laughs) Wow. Yuck. That is disgusting, bro. Very few out there over the winter, but come spring, things fired back up again with a slight change. The guy's count went to five with the addition of a new student from another state. Mm. Girl count just continued to the moon. I think those guys made it through the majority of the girls at the school. Wow. Wow. 
And they probably were all talking about it to each other and convincing each other to go out and yep. do it because that Just is how women go. in that age operate. That's right. you got to get rid of your virginity. He's a good yeah. guy. Yeah, I mm. promise I already did it. Mm-hmm. That's another one, yeah. Oh, yeah, I totally did it. They're like 12. Yeah. And then somebody's <laughs> stupid enough to believe it. Oh, my God, you did that? I was just pulling your leg. <laughs> well, because of you, I pulled on his leg. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> yeah, w- women, yeah, you're, you're, you're totally, you're, you're way better people than we are. Yeah, mm. Trust me. Mm. <sighs> Being an overly observant person, I noticed that 99% of the time, the girls were always wearing a dress or skirt on the day they were intending to go in the woods Mm. for easier access. Yeah. (laughs) Yep. Once I recognized this detail, I ended up getting pretty good at predicting who I was going to be seeing out in the woods on my way home. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Susie Q hasn't been out there for a week, and she's wearing a dress today. I bet it's her turn. (laughs) It became a fun game when class was boring. The best day, though, had to be when a classmate said he was going to ask out Susie Q that afternoon on the bus. I told him, eh, I think she's going to be on the bus today. <laughs> Why not? Uh, she's wearing a skirt. What does that mean? You want to walk me home? <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> I added that part. Huh. <laughs> he just looked at me like I was crazy. I couldn't help but chuckle to myself later, though, as I walked by Susie Q on her back. Mm-hmm. The next day, he asked me how I knew that she wasn't going to be on the bus. I said, oh, that's a lucky guess. I think. <laughs> he wouldn't have believed me if I told him. Yeah. Nope. There's several lessons here. One, of course, is hypergamy. Mm-hmm. Another is that fun time starts at a very young age, and it can ramp up quickly. Yes, it can. Also, perhaps most importantly, is the distinction of our experiences. For the young guys who didn't experience it, it's easy to dismiss that this happens and just how common it is. That's why it's so important to be around other men you trust who don't have a dog in the race. They can give you the truth since they lived it and they've seen it all go down. It definitely minimizes having to learn everything from the school of hard knocks. Lastly, the lesson of being alert to your surroundings. Several times I've seen these girls hug their dad literally less than five minutes after having the white rain hose them down. God damn. That is a vivid image right there. That is disgusting. (laughs) For the life of me, I don't know how the father didn't notice the sperm on her hair and face having just wiped it off with only her hands. Perhaps it's willful ignorance. Someone's always paying attention. Make sure it's you. Oh, my God. Good story. That is terrible. Woo! That is rep- reprehensible. Did you guys ever see anything like this? You know, walking home like as early as middle school, high school, shit like okay. that? Okay. Uh, well, when I was in middle school, there was three girls who did things like this. Except. Well, three who got caught. They, well, no, no. <laughs> well, I, I, don't, I, I can't speak <laughs> okay. to all of them. I All I know is <laughs> these three women would... Go to uh, these vacant houses with dudes, and things would happen. That's lovely. Yeah, I mean, we're talking seventh grade, sixth grade. Yeah, you know, wow. you know having you know eight or ten high schoolers show up to service uh, these young girls. It was insane. That's disgusting. <laughs> oh yeah, and this this was in. Uh, 78, 79, 80-ish. Wow. So, and it's got to be way worse today. Yeah, it's got to be way worse. What about you, Skid? Uh, not middle school, no. You know, I was probably one of the ones who had no clue what was going on. Yeah, so, I was one of those. A little bit of, stuff, little bit of stuff in high school, but it wasn't until a lot later that my eyes got opened up. I didn't see any of this. Well, see, I, <clears throat> I'm an evil genius. I noticed all that shit. Yeah, I didn't really start paying attention until I stopped caring. Up until then, mm. most of the guys in high school and middle school, they're just uh, half of them got their heads in the clouds, the other half got their heads up their ass. So mm. <laughs> they're not really paying attention to much other than Ugh, boobs. <laughs> <laughs> they're starting to get them. Yeah. Uh, wait, watch her run and get her paper. Yep. yep. Hey, look, you know, things, things happen. What are you going to do? Yep. Mm. Horrendous. Okay. And, and, and the sad part is this, is these girls literally don't know they are train wrecking their fucking life yeah. at that age. And it doesn't dawn on them until it's way too late. Mm-hmm. 
if, if at all. I mean, I, I've known several that have done this, and they, they just can't figure out what's wrong. Like, mm -hmm. it, oh, you know, no. no and I'm so lonely. How come there's no one wants to date me? Because, man, you're a hose bag. Yeah. Like, well, they just refuse to grasp it. You could even tell them straight to their face and explain. They still don't understand it. Oh, no, no. Listen, when I, uh, after my divorce, I started the online dating shit. <laughs> and I came across one of these mattress back girls that I went to high school with. Yes. And, I, and I finally, you know, I'm like, you look familiar. And she told me her name and I go, you're a hose bag. Don't contact <laughs> me again. <Locked> her. <laughs> nice. We got some people in the chat like, can we have some legal age stories? Now, the reason why mm -hmm. stories like this are important <clears throat> is because women would have you believe that they don't go buck nasty until college. Yeah. They're yeah. lying to yeah. you. Well, especially today. I mean, some of these, oh, I would say a lot of the women of today have the thousand cock stare getting their high school diploma. Yeah. And, and mm. you've got a lot of them now who have, you know, safe for work only fans fetishizing their feet and shit like that before they even leave high school. God. What a world. The thing is, this is not a new thing, and that's why, like, the last ride and roast and this new story, yeah. it's it's important to <clears throat> to read stuff like this so that you know, if especially if you're planning on having children, you need to watch out for this shit. It's yeah. not going to start when you think it started. No, I know. Listen, like, by the time these women get to college now, it's an ass Armageddon. Yeah. <laughs> it is insane. <laughs> ass Armageddon. <laughs> Watch Grunt Speak Live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8pm Eastern. And if you want to join Pop for Supporter Sundays, go to redonkulous.com slash donate and make a monthly pledge. A link is in the Meat Gazer box.